Hello guys and welcome back to the channel or to the channel if you are new. Today I have a slideshow. <laughs> I'm so excited. I really want to show you guys this because I really want this pack and making this slideshow made me want it so much more. So here is my pitch to EA and also everyone is what I would include if I made a hotel and resort pack in The Sims 4. Obviously first thing I would make it free but we all know EA would never make this free so here is what I would include in an expansion pack. Okay, okay, I've got to click, not click the next. Anyways, so for the first thing I would actually do is I would do a base game update. And this base game update would include curved pools and to have multifunctional lots. And the reason I would do this as a base game update is because I feel like it's a feature that is not necessarily tied to hotels, just that I think it would be super beneficial to have in hotels. Therefore, having it just as a base game update would make so much sense. Multifunctional lots would obviously, because hotels have spas and restaurants and stuff like that, so having that available would make so much sense. And then also curved pools is like such a staple and you, I feel like most pools are actually slightly curved at least. So here are two base game things that would come, you know how sometimes updates come before the pack where they fix a few things, do a base game update? This would be this. This would come before the pack release to build some hype and to give everyone some new features. Next would be some items to add. So I would say you could do a water slide and like slides going into the ocean because I feel like that's a staple in resorts. And if you had like a bungalow on the ocean, it would be so cool to have a slide from your deck to go into the water. Next, I would do buffets because buffets are literally just such a staple in like any place. You've got the free breakfast or you've got the breakfast lunches that they do in the buffet so I definitely think we should include buffets similarly similar similarly similar similarly <laughs> to how they did in the sims 3 but like so you can click on it and you can change it to be like kids buffet you can make it a vegetarian buffet you can make it like an Italian buffet a dinner buffet a lunch buffet whatever 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 then check-in desks, of course, is an item you must add because I don't really want it to be like a rabbit hole where you go in, like you should actually have a physical ch check-in desk so you can build your own lobby. Next, we need suitcase decor because I feel like suitcase decor just looks really good for if you're trying to play out a story where a sim's moving or if you're trying to take screenshots to like say that your sims are going on vacation, you get the point. Next is, of course, basic looking furniture. It's like a staple in every hotel or restaurant, uh, resort or like motel. Just very basic looking stuff. I also didn't write it down, but I think another good thing to do would be more cracks in the walls, more spider webs, more gr grime, because if you want to build a rundown motel, those are some things you need. A lot of hotels, if they're not super like five star luxury, have some grime. Then in pool bars is an item to add that would tie in with a feature like buffets and check-in desks and stuff like that. New features would be obviously to run and visit hotels of sorts, drinking in pools and bars to like pair with the new item so you'd be able to swim up to a bar in the pool and then drink in the pool you wouldn't have to leave. And then sims to have new likes and dislikes of what they want out of a vacation. I don't really know how you would implement this, but I think it would be really cool for your sim to like, for example, adventure. So they would prefer staying in like some cheap ski lodge so they can go and ski rather than staying in a, a like resort and just having to stay in the resort the entire time kind of thing. So I think that would be good because some sims, well, some people in real life really love going to resorts and literally staying in the pool all day, drinking from the pool bar, not leaving at all. And then some people love going and exploring and they would be better fitted to stay in like a caravan park and just exploring and barely being at the actual place. It's just a place of sleeping, whereas some people need it to be their place of chilling out for a week or whatever. Also, I think a really cool addition would be surfing and this will pair with the new world that I think they should add. Uh, but yes, surfing would be such a cool thing. It should have been added in Island Living, but because it wasn't, I think surfing is a good feature you could tie into this one because people go on surf vacations um, all the time. And then obviously to build your own hotel uh, would be a feature. Not only can you run your own, but you should be able to fully customize it. And then with the hotels feature, with the hotels, like the feature should also allow resorts, bed and breakfast, caravan parks, motels, etc. 
Then the new world could be Australia because I really want an Australian pack. As an Australian myself, it really saddens me that we don't have an Australian inside pack. Australia is truly so beautiful. We have such a range of biodiversity and different things you could add. We have snowy areas, we have desert areas, we have tropical areas, like we have cities. We have so many different kinds of areas that it would be such a beautiful pack. You have so many different options. But my recommendation for this kind of pack would be to go with Queensland because it has a city so you could have a city area where you have high rise hotels but then it also has some beautiful coastal areas and tropical areas which would be perfect for resorts and it's just perfect. You can see all those images down below are of Queensland, the Gold Coast particularly uh, is a beautiful place, uh, very full of life, very fun. Uh, so I would say that would be a great kind of area but then you can also have the ability to run hotels and resorts wherever so you could have a ski lodge in Mount Komarebi, resorts in Sulani, um, basic motels in like Oasis Springs, uh, caravan parks in like Oasis Springs, stuff like that. So it's not tied into this world necessarily but it's just a new world to explore and you can already build some pre-made hotels in this world because obviously it comes with a pack, this is the only world where you could have hotels in it. Next up on the list is build items and for build items I think it should include some pretty basic items that you would see in a hotel but also mix with some more tropical fun items that you would see in resorts. So you would kind of have like, this is actually a CC pack for The Sims 4 but I think it would be a perfect thing to add to your luxury hotels. This is just some basic stuff, have some pretty ugly carpets, have some pretty basic beds, some pretty funky kinds of carpets uh, and rugs. Here, like, just have some very basic, like, paintings, very basic furniture that's actually pretty cheap. Have some doors that look like buzzers, like, here, that have, like, come in, clean my room, or don't come in, do not disturb kinds of things. That would be really fun. And then more soap dispensers that have, like, shampoo and stuff for showers. Uh, focus build mode mainly on kind of, like, lobby areas, bedroom areas, bathroom areas. You would less need to worry about kitchens and stuff like that. Uh, but maybe you can include a few kitchenette items, like a new mini fridge maybe, that looks a bit run down, and then maybe like a new microwave, stuff like that. For Cass items, I really love this. Uh, for Cass items, you can't really see it here, but I have a crochet dress and a dungaree kind of thing, uh, because I think that would be perfect. Do very fun and colourful, tropical, relaxed items like this, do some more flip-flops, sandals, crocheted items for guys, do those like loose fitted tops and also the Hawaiian tops where you've got the like button up that has fun patterns on it. Do some cozy pretty bathrobes that people can walk around in. Stuff like that would be very fun. You could do some bags like crocheted bags, you could do some seashell jewellery, new glasses, new jewellery stuff that's like really chill, pretty, stuff like that. Now for last, I think this is the last thing, for the last thing, cross compatibility. I think cross compatibility for this pack is very important because I think we are lacking cross compatibility for a lot of packs and it can be so useful and makes it all feel more like a cohesive game that you don't have to go out of your way to play certain things. So for cross compatibility, here are some ideas. I think you should have with seasons, Sims can have their vacation ruined by rain or storm. So if they go to like the Queensland pack, uh, the pack with the expansion pack and they go to like surf all weekend and then it's ruined by like really stormy weather and no waves, that should ruin their vacation and they should get negative mood lids that like say vacation ruined or maybe next time depending on their optimism, stuff like that. Like maybe if they're a cheerful sim they get maybe next time and then it's like a maybe next time it'll be better kind of thing and it's like a, it's a fine mood lip but then you know, a more somber sim might have a, you know, uh, vacations ruined with like a sad mood lit or an, even an angry mood lit, stuff like that. Spa day would obviously have the ability to run, uh, have spas in resorts and stuff like that. And then in home, in hotel restaurants would be great with dine out. And then you could have like pet friendly versus not pet friendly hotels or motels, uh, cause some places obviously are pet friendly and some are not. You should have the ability to change that depending on if you have cats and dogs, obviously. And then last idea would be like to have bowling alleys and stuff in your 
place because I think some places do have that and it would be kind of cool. So those are just a few ideas but obviously there are so many more cross compatibility options. But yeah, this is my short slideshow on what I would add to a hotel and resort pack. I think it could be so, so fun. Uh, the ability to run hotels and build them up would be amazing to have an hotel empire. And then also the ability to visit them would be great. I think a few kinds of traits could be, you know, relaxing ones or more adventurous ones or particular ones of what you're looking at. New aspirations could be about running hotels. Like I think there was a Sims 4 3 aspiration called like Hotel Empire or something. So wanting to run as many successful hotels as possible. Uh, you could do a surfer aspiration or a trait. I think just things like that would be a super cool feature and I think it would be a really fun expansion pack. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Comment what you would like to add to the pack and if this is a pack you guys want to see. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. I'll see you all later.